Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner, Section 6.4, Linear and Nonlinear Media. Um, and first we're going to cover what happens in linear media, and then we're going to cover, um, wait for it, ferromagnetism, which is fun. So, um, so in, in most materials, in most substances, uh, the magnetization is proportional, a positive or negative factor, it could be anti-parallel or parallel, to the magnetic field you drop it into. Okay. Now, you might be tempted to write out this equation that parallels um, exactly with um, what you saw in linear dielectrics. But this is not the way that we do it. Instead, we use this formula, the magnetic susceptibility of H. So the magnetization of the material is proportional to the H field. And the reason why is, well, you know, customarily, Calculating B is hard, but calculating H is easy. You, given the current, you know what H is going to be. Um, so, uh, magnetic susceptibility. Let me see if I can write this out without spelling anything wrong. Typically, values are in the range of 10 to the negative fifth. It is a number. It doesn't have a unit. It's just a number. And um, uh, materials that obey this are called linear uh, medium. Oh, by the way, um, there there is a point at a very strong magnetic field where materials don't behave this way anymore. Um, they can only take so much magnetization. Um, so anyway, um, so linear media. So we can calculate our B vector if we know it's mu naught of the H plus the M. Okay. Well, the the uh, M is just, uh, you know, chi M of the H, so you get mu naught times 1 plus chi M of the H vector. And so you get the simple formula that this is equal to mu of the H vector. So here's the other formula. Here's the first formula, okay? So, um, oh, and mu uh, is equal to Sorry, out of habit, I wrote that zero. Um, one plus the magnetic susceptibility. And this is called the permeability. So this is the permeability. There's an R there. And, and yet again, you know, the fact that mu naught is not, um, um, mu naught is not one suggests that, um, you know, free space behaves like magnetic material and there's something behind everything which we know is not true but you know it was a strong suggestion to early physicists that there was some kind of ether that things were moving through so and mu naught is you know what you get if you don't have any material there at all um, so anyway that's uh, basically how it's calculated thanks for your time